Hello my people, welcome to the SCORE channel and welcome to Purdue University. This massive public university is an incredible attraction for people from all over the United States and abroad, not just for students in the state of Indiana. As always, I sat down with someone in the admissions office. Today we're talking to Danik, who's going to tell us a little bit more about Purdue, the programs, and how you can become a Boilermaker. Hi everybody, my name is Dana Tori. I'm an admissions representative at Purdue University. Purdue offers over 200 majors, so I always tell students no matter what you want to study or what your interests are, likely you're going to find something here at Purdue that is interesting to you. Programs in STEM, so science, technology, engineering, mathematics, we are to have several rankings in a wide variety of areas of study. So think of things like engineering, computer science, business management, hospitality and tourism management, almost anything you want want to study you'll likely find here at Purdue. One of the most famous people in the world and one of the first to even leave its borders is Neil Armstrong who was a Purdue alumni. As a result there are a ton of space related things here and one of the things that I think is really cool about Purdue is just how much aerospace engineering is going on here. They even have a campus airport. I saw a lot of little planes flying around over my head while I was walking around the campus. It's pretty neat that you could actually learn to fly and maybe become an astronaut at a university like this. So we get a lot of interest in engineering. However, it's a more competitive program to get admission to because we receive thousands of applications for a limited number of spots. Our business management programs are also very popular, whether it's finance, marketing, supply chain management, business analytics. There's also very niche programs that you can study here at Purdue too. So UX design, agriculture, things that not a lot of students may be interested in, but if you are, Purdue is a really good fit for you for a lot of those programs. With over 40,000 people present, here you are sure to find somebody who feels like you and thinks like you you're gonna make a ton of great friends and with over 200 majors if you can think of it you can study it I've been walking around here for the last few hours this place is massive and there's so much to see so we're gonna to have to get started If you're into athletics, you're gonna love Purdue because there are just a ton of football fields, tracks, indoor and outdoor, there's swimming pools. I mean, pretty much every sport is represented here in this Division I school, and the Boilermakers are seriously competitive. So if you wanna get your sports on, this is a great university to choose. You can enhance your Purdue experience by applying for the Honors College at Purdue. It's very competitive, but it opens doors to exclusive courses, special residence options, and a whole lot more. So what's it take to get yeah. in? So the Honors College is for our very academic oriented students is the way I would put it. Students who want to go above and beyond. They want to do research outside of the classroom. And they also want to be very interdisciplinary. So they have a wide variety of interest and are interested in academic topics, even outside of their primary area of study. Our Honors College has academic benefits as well as social benefits. So we have housing opportunities specific for our Honors College program. And of course, academic courses specific to the Honors College students. You just need to write two additional essays at the time of your application and that deadline is typically November 1st of each year and it's a competitive application. So we typically receive I would say 7,000 applications for the Honors College and we're looking for about 700 students to join each fall. It's crowded so yeah if you're right now you're visiting on our second day of classes so students are out and about and 
yeah, camp's as busy as ever. Danik wasn't joking. This place is full of people. And fortunately, I got to talk to a bunch of Purdue students to ask them what they think of the university. They also gave some great advice for applicants. That's coming up next week. So if you want to check it out, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. If you want to join these people and boiler up, here's what you need to do. So our admissions process here at Purdue is probably very similar to other colleges and universities in the United States. So it is a holistic review process. Essentially what that means is we consider everything that's a part of the application. So whether that's academic or non-academic. Of course, your academic history is probably the most important part because we wanna make sure that you're academically prepared. So your grades and the courses that you've completed throughout your secondary school or high school. What are the specifics? So um, our average GPA of students who are accepted is typically about a 3.5 GPA. So I would say a solid A to B average student. Some of our more competitive programs are gonna have slightly higher GPA. So thinking of computer science and engineering, most students have to have about an A to A minus average average 3.7 GPA. Our average test scores for um, the SAT are typically about a 1250 to a 1450, depending on the programs. The other thing we're gonna be looking at are all those non-academic things. So when I say non-academic, that's gonna be letters of recommendation, things that you've done outside of the classroom. So extracurricular activities, the essay, we wanna make sure that it's well-written and that you fully understand the program that you're applying to and if it's good fit for you. Here at SCORE, we have a lot of applicants applying to Purdue and I've edited their essays several times and and Purdue does ask for quite a few extra supplemental essays, but honestly, it's great because it gives you the chance to really express yourself. And maybe Dana can tell us a little bit more about Students, it. Students, that's a way for us to get to know you outside of the academics. If you have a interesting story or anything that you would like us to know outside of your academics, something that you've experienced or realized throughout your lifetime. So it's really up to you. That gives you the flexibility to let us know what you want us to know during the application review process. We're going to be looking to get to know you a little bit more better as a person, and then also making sure that essay is well written and easy to, to read and understand as well. And if you're an international student, we're also gonna be looking for a proof of English proficiency. So that's typically gonna be through the Duolingo English test, the TOEFL, or the IELTS. Though we don't offer any scholarships or financial aid to international students, our tuition and fees still tend to be competitive and comparable to other colleges and universities with a similar name, rank, and reputation as Purdue. So if you're looking at universities that are, have a similar profile as Purdue, you'll typically find that the tuition fees tend to be lower than other colleges and universities. As it stands, Purdue is very affordable compared to other universities at the same level. I mean, if you were to go to a private school that does this stuff as well as Purdue does, you're probably gonna spend a lot more. Another thing unique here at Purdue is our tuition fees have remained the same for the past 10 years. So our tuition fees are actually the same rates now as they were in year 2012. Most colleges and universities in the United States will typically raise their tuition fees one to three percent each year. Even though they don't offer financial aid for international students, they still have ways to help you get scholarships with their Scholarship Universe portal where applicants can look for external scholarships, outside scholarships from other organizations. They bring them all together for you so that you can still lower the cost of your tuition. Well, thank you so much for considering Purdue University. If you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out directly to our office and you can do so by emailing us at admissions at purdue.edu or you can call us directly with a number that is listed on our website. You'll be applying online through the common application. Our application deadline each year, we have an early action deadline of November 1st of each year for the following fall. And then we have a regular decision deadline each year on January 15th for our fall intake. Our application opens each year on August 1st and then we have that November 1st deadline. So we always recommend our students to apply early if possible. Definitely apply early and don't wait until that last minute a few days before the deadline because that's a, a common thing students do and it adds pressure to you, adds pressure to us. So definitely stand out by submitting that application a little bit early. Thank you to Danik for sitting down to talk to us and Mike for coordinating all of that. Really appreciate your efforts guys. Thanks for having me here at Purdue. I gotta get rolling, but I gotta say this was an awesome experience. I've really enjoyed checking out Purdue. If you guys are interested in applying to Purdue, go check out their website, purdue.edu. If you need help with your applications, you know you can hit us up at prepwithscore.com, and I'll see you next week.